All right, here's the new system all set up. Now we switch from uh, regular click and relays to solid state relays. Uh, these are from Sharp, and they have 16 amp relays each, and with a maximum of 200 volts. So we have two of them here. We have this one and this one. So one does fan and one does the lamp. Uh, I have the temperature sensor as before. We had to switch to Ethernet because um, unfortunately there was some issue with the Wi-Fi and it's just too, uh, a little too complicated. So we got rid of that. Uh, we basically have a fire hazard over here. We have the uh, electrical connection there and we have the relays passing into this little plug that we basically turned into a smart plug. And yeah, don't do this at home. This is very dangerous. <laughs> Uh, over here we have a little lamp that we can control from the system. Uh, regular 120 volt bulb, just plugged in there, turn it on and off. And down here we have a fan that we are running. Now the fan right now is spinning at some speed. Okay, this is going to be hard to see but I guess we'll have to go with that. But uh, with, with, with the system right now, we are able to actually adjust the speed of the fan just basically using PWM control. Hey, what's going on over there, buddy? Hey. All right, so that's the guy that codes all the web stuff. That's the guy that makes all the fun. I don't know. <laughs> and here I am doing all the um, basic coding for Arduino. So we have the Arduino code over here, uh, making use of MDNS. So with MDNS, we can easily just uh, type in a name instead of an IP address, which in my case I'm using phoenixnet.local. And now uh, we use some REST functions and we're able to control multiple things. So, so example, I want to turn on the, the light. So what I do now is I'm going to change the parameter to turn it on. And so I'm going to go 255. Oops. I'm going to change it to 255 for full. And there we go. Now the lamp is on. And to turn the lamp off, off. Turn it back on again. Uh, let's see, turn it back on, and there we go. Now, if I want to adjust the speed of the fan, I just um, gonna change the code over here. Uh, this is just testing code anyway. So, once we get everything working the way we want, um, it's gonna be all buttons and you just click buttons and and that will have it set up so now I'm gonna put the fan at full speed speed I'm gonna change it to about let's say half speed Slow. I mean, you won't want a fan spinning this slow because it's not going to blow much air anyway. But um, you get the idea. So this actually improves um, using a fan because instead of having a switch, uh, like you know, speed one, speed two, speed three, you can adjust the speed to exactly what you want, and uh, that may increase the speed a little. Increase it to a hundred. It's a hundred, and I'm going to turn it off now. So we we'll turn it off, I just put a zero over there, and zero, press enter, and boom, the fan is off. And it takes a few seconds for it to go off. So with this kind of stuff, you can control pretty much anything, refrigerator, whatever it is that you want to control. And here is one more function that we have. We have a function to check the temperature from the temperature sensor. 
So we'll do temperature. And they should give me the temperature in the room right now, which is 77 degrees Celsius. And I can also check the humidity. And the humidity is 51%. And that's pretty much it. The solar state relays are really awesome. Uh, it's not safe what we did right here, but you know, it's just testing. And with testing, you know, that's how you figure out how everything works. And once you're done 